Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Lithic Metals. Today I'm going to be making an electrolyte solution uh, for my silver cell. And uh, we're going to start right here with 310 grams of sifted silver crystal. That's the real fine stuff that I use for electrolytes or uh, uh, pouring bars with. So now I just poured into a beaker. I'm adding, I think I added about 500 mLs of uh, distilled water. Here I have 100 mLs of nitric acid. So this everything's cold, so I can add a bunch of acid in there without worrying about a huge reaction. I let it go on itself, add a bit of heat, and you see that reaction really fires up. It digests the silver until the free nitrates run out. Now I'm adding another 100 mLs of uh, nitric acid, and that is really going to do the trick. Um, I calculated... Uh, I, I, Often I do approximately 310 grams of silver crystal to 200 mLs of nitric acid, and I'm left here with about uh, 10 grams of silver left. I want just a little bit of silver left because then I know that uh, the reaction's over and there's no free nitrates uh, still in solution. So now I'm going to filter that solution to make sure it's clean. I'll get all that uh, remaining silver crystal particles out of there. See, we just got just a little bit left, but that's perfect. And uh, I'll get that aside and I'll process, again, process that again later. And here I'm putting this uh, the, the silver solution in here and I'm adding uh, distilled water. I want to get it up to 2.2 uh, liters, basically. And there it is. But the density level is big difference there. So it might look ex excessive, but uh, I have to stir this really well make sure it's a uh, the silver is evenly distributed in the solution there otherwise it, it would just settle but here just let's figure we do a quick test here here's i got some uh, hcl here i'll add a bit of solution and immediately we see a reaction silver chlorides coming out of solution so we definitely can rest assured that our silver is in solution all right i'm going to get that aside because i don't want that stuff anywhere near my real batch here so all right look at this beautiful clean stuff it is all ready to go into my silver cell all right this is a basic setup but i love using it that's my stainless steel bowl i'm going to use that as my cathode and uh there's a little plastic cover i put here and this is a filter that i use this uh I forget the name, some sort of polyurethane, poly something or another. Um, I cut it out of big sections and put that in there. It's down to like one micron. So it really holds back all these little particles from entering into that solution as we digest uh, material that I'm going to put in there. That is going to act as our anode. All right, and I'm going to start here with four nines fine uh, pure silver. So that's our base here. So really what I'm doing is there's just tiny amounts of impurities in this four nines fine silver. Well, I'm gonna run it through this silver cell and uh, capture as much of that as possible. This pure silver crystal is just, it's extra special. All right, I got a little bar that I, I just, I'm gonna use to attach the clip for the positive here. And that is our anode. There's our negative, which is connected to the bowl, our cathode. Turn on our power supply. I'm going to adjust the voltage to uh, under 3.5 volts. And as it settles, it's going to fluctuate and, and level out a little bit. Now, here's a couple days later. It's sitting at, uh, I like it, around 3.33 generally. And you see there's some uh, moisture, some condensate at the top here. Let's take a peek. Oh, yeah, we got some crystal growth. All right, this is, this is about 48 hours later after we initially filled the bowl. But, uh, so I'm going to have to add a bit of silver here. And uh, yeah, you don't want to get that drippy stuff on you. It will stain everything. So I used to like spray it all off and oh boy, that just splatters it. So I'm going to take it aside and wipe it with a paper towel and uh, save that for later. All right, let's fill this anode basket back up here. And there we go. Yeah, of course I spill it. Yeah, all contained. We're good. All right, as I, as I fill this back up here, I need to uh, just, I want to keep that clip out of there. Yeah, I just have to, you got to maintain it, monitor that every couple hours, just make sure it's not falling in there. Usually I use a much bigger 
chunk of silver, but that's just what I had handy. All right, everything looks good. Take one last peek here. Yeah, in a few days, this stuff is going to make a great harvest. And uh, last, the last harvest that I posted, I picked out some beautiful uh, fine pieces out of there. And uh, I figured we'd take a quick look at that. So stay tuned for the next one because I'm sure to pull out some beautiful crystals out of this next batch as well. Hey, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time.